Right. Once that's all shaken up, you're going to grab your glass. Now you'll see I've pre-garnished this one. <laughs> Kia ora and welcome to Experience Bar. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender this evening so I show you how to make a drink from gaming's past, the Blurberry Special from the original RuneScape. Let's get started. Great, so uh, RuneScape. Uh, this is a game that's very close to my heart. It's one of the first games I ever got addicted to, right? It was one of the few games that I could access at school through a proxy, of course. See, it was an educational game. It taught you how to use IT services. It was one of those games that really hooked me in. Quite literally, I ended up trying to get up to level 99 fishing, never quite got there. I haven't revisited the new and supposedly improved one, but this drink is present apparently in both versions. This drink being the Blurberry Special. So, to start this drink, we are going to open up with a... Ooh, <laughs> let's do that bit again, shall I? Gave me a bit of a shock. You're going to need a shaker about three quarters of the way, halfway to three quarters, filled with ice. And the first in-game ingredient is our vodka. Half an ounce of that. Next up, we've got our half an ounce of gin. I'm using Gordon's gin. Um, people talk a lot of shit about Gordon's gin, but honestly, it's a pretty accessible and relatively clean gin. It's a good workhorse uh, liquor if you're making any kind of gin-based cocktail, right? So don't be afraid of Gordon's, it's perfectly fine. And lastly, the last alcohol in this is half an ounce of brandy. Now, this is verging on Long Island iced tea <laughs> kind of area with the sheer number of uh, alcohols we've got in this. But that is what the in-game recipe says and also the in-game description. Uh, the only thing that it says about it is that it smells strong. So it makes sense for it to have quite a few different alcohols in here. This is only still only 1.5 ounces of actual spirit. So it's not super strong. It's just gonna seem that way because of the sheer number of flavors we've got going on. Now, next up, we have all of the citruses in this drink. Um, whoever invented this clearly thought the more lemons and limes and oranges that you put into a drink, the cocktailier it is. So, in the in-game recipe, we're taking a little bit of uh, poetic license here. It says to put in uh, chunks of lemon and chunks of oranges. The limes come in, but later. But I tried that and it looks ugly. Uh, it tastes bad and it doesn't really add anything to the drink. So instead, we are going to be adding the juices of those fruits. Starting with half an ounce of, I think that is the orange. Use fresh squeezed if you can. Um, Valencia oranges are especially good for the juices. Uh, if you want something like a skin. <laughs> Fucking Hugo, that was a good take. Use Valencia oranges for the juice and navel oranges if you're making a garnish. The skin is a little bit tougher on the navels uh, and the juice is a little bit more, there's more of the juice on a Valencia. So, half an ounce of Valencia orange juice. Uh, and lastly, we have our lemon juice, half an ounce of that. And yeah, I know there are quite a few ingredients to this recipe, but it wouldn't be correct to the in-game uh, ingredient list if we didn't include all of these, and it does make a complex and interesting drink. But you do have to work for it, uh, including a nice shake. So. Once that's all nicely shaken up, you're going to need to grab your uh, martini glass or a general cocktail glass. The actual glass that uh, the Blurberry Special is served in seems to be this kind of weird, blocky, triangular monstrosity, but that's probably because of RuneScape's infamous graphics, shall we call them? So I think the martini glass is probably the closest thing that you can get to that in the real world. So we are going to strain our drink using our Hawthorne strainer and a tea strainer so that we catch all of those bits of lemon and orange juice, or bits of leftover lemon and orange. Also helps to uh, capture little shards of ice as well. So it's usually a good idea to double strain, what that's called, double strain your cocktails. And you'll see here, we have got a little pre-garnish. Got this set up so that you wouldn't have to awkwardly watch me struggle to put on a lemon wheel, which is what this one is. That's a big old lemon wheel. And here is the lime. I know it's yellow and limes are green, but there are such things as golden limes and that's what we can get in New Zealand at this time of year. We are gonna finish this off with the very last of our ingredients from the game, which is ecu, equa, ecu, acu, 
I don't know how to pronounce it. It's E-Q-U-U. -U. It's one of the uh, apparently classic gnomish ingredients that goes into nearly all of their cooking, including their cocktail. Uh, it doesn't seem to have an exact uh, replication in the real world. There's nothing that mirrors it. So I'm taking a little bit of creative license and going with a little bit of mint. We are just going to tuck that in there. And there you have it. That is the Blurberry Special from RuneScape. Uh, but these drinks don't happen without some serious help from our community. So here's to all of our patrons who help make these drinks happen. Uh, in particular, today's special patron, Ben Stewart. Cheers for the drink. What the fuck? Okay, that doesn't... Oh, okay. Um... I've just realized something, guys. Uh, I forgot to put an ingredient in, which the eagle-eyed among you might have noticed. This is simple syrup. This is two to one simple syrup. Um, and this is actually the game accurate version of the drink. Uh, it doesn't have simple syrup in it, but it tastes shit without it because it's just nothing but a bunch of alcohol and fruit juices. And while orange juice is certainly sweet, it's not enough to kind of balance out half an ounce of lemon juice. So what we're just gonna quietly do just, just between you and me, okay? We're just gonna grab this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna chuck it. We're just gonna fucking chuck it right in there. You get a spoon and just give it a little stir, just to, just to make sure it all comes together. Now, here's the thing. You're absolutely allowed to do this if you fuck up a cocktail. You can add in ingredients afterwards. It's ideal if you put them all in when you shake. That means you get the perfect dilution each time, um, but, if you fuck it up and you forgot to put something in, don't be afraid of adding it at the end, okay? Let's try that again. Let's see how that, that's turned out. Right. There we go, that's better. Yes. Okay, simple syrup makes all the difference for this drink, okay? Um, the replication of the in-game recipe ends up with a beverage that is quite boring. It's quite flat. It's just fruit juice with a bunch of uh, alcohol added to it, and none of the flavors really come through. Uh, it's just kind of one-dimensional. As soon as you add a little bit of sweetness to that, suddenly the lemons come out, the orange comes out, that brandy raisin flavor comes out. Uh, but yeah, this is actually not bad for a somewhat creatively licensed version of an in-game drink. Uh, Blurberry certainly seems to know what he's doing. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been Jack Stone. This has been Experience Bar. That's the Blurberry special from RuneScape. Uh, we're creating new content every couple of weeks, but we've got stuff on our Discord. We've got stuff on our Reddit. We've got communities pretty much anywhere that you guys are, we are as well. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.